Good day, students. Yeah, welcome back to our mathematics class. Today's class, we're going to start the topic of logarithms of numbers less than one. If you could recall in our previous classes, we've discussed on logarithm of number greater than one. Today, we now want to move on to logarithms of number less than one. Before we dive in into this proper, if you are a new member on this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent content. And do not forget to share to other members for them to benefit. Let's move on. Multiplication and division with numbers less than one. Example one, evaluate from a bigger one, 0 0.7685 multiply by 0 0.03414. Now, don't forget, we set the logarithm tab number table. That is, we have number and log. So we have, that's for the Roman figure one, 0 0.7685 multiplied by 0 0.03415. Now, we want to look for the integer of the first one. If you can recall, to get the integer in our previous classes, the integer is going to be when you cover the first digit number and you count the number, the how many digits are at the back of the first digit number without jumping decimal point. But in this case, we are having the decimal numbers before the digit numbers. In our standard form, this zero points, when we have 0 0.7685 in our standard form, you have to shift this point backward. So we have 0 0.685 multiplied by 10 raised to the power. Then this minus here changes to negative. Then how many times do we move it? One time. Or how many zero do we have? One zero. So this times by minus one. This is what we're going to now use to determine our integer here. So our integer in this case is not going to be minus one. We call it bar one point. Bar one. So this sign at the top of this one is called bar. So we call it bar one point. Now the integer of this one will be how many zeros do we have here? We have two zeros. Then with this point, it means bar two points. Now the next thing is to now check our logarithm 76 under its difference 5. We have 8, 8, 5, 7. Now this, 34 under 1 difference 5. We have 5, 3, 3, 4. Now this multiplication here, we have to change to addition. So we have 7 plus 4, that's 11. Write 1, carry 1. 5 plus 3, that is 8, plus 1 we've carried here, 9. 8 plus 3, we have 11. So we write 1, carry 1. 8 plus 5, we have 13. 13 plus 1 we've carried, that is 14. 14, that is 4, carry 1. Now, if you now look at this one, by 1, it means minus 1, as we have the end, minus 1, plus by 2, minus 2. So you have to open bracket and close it here. Don't forget, we are, we've carried one from this place, add the one there. So we have minus one, plus and minus, we have minus two plus one. Minus one minus two, we have minus three. Minus three plus one, that is minus two. So it's going to be bar two. Now, to now get our final answer, we have to check our antilogarithm 41 under nine difference one. So we have two, six, Two five. Now to look at that, to locate our point, how many here we have bar two here. That bar two means two zeros. Then we have zero point zero. So our final answer is zero point zero two six two five. When we got two, we set the logarithm table as well. Number log. So here we have zero point. 7685 divided by 341.5. Now the integer of this one, as we have done in the previous in the first example, the 
They are the same. The integer is going to be 0 0.0. That's 1, 0. So we have bar 1 points. For the second one, it's like what we did in the previous classes. You cover the first digit here because this does not start with 0. When you cover this first digit and you count the number of digits at the back of the first digit without jumping the decimal points. So we have 1, 2. You cannot jump this one. So we have 2 digits. So we call it 2 points, not bar 2. Not bar 2 because it doesn't start with 0, 0. Now, the next thing is to take our logarithm table. 76 under 8 defines 5. We've done that here. That is 8857. 8857. Then 34 under 1 defines 5. We've done that one here. 34 under 1 defines 5. 5, 3, 3, 4. 5, 3, 3, 4. So this sign of division, we have to change to subtraction. So we have minus. Then 7 minus 4, we have 3. 5 minus 3, we have 2. 8 minus 3, we have 5. 8 minus 5, we have 3. Point. Now this is minus 1, minus 1. This is division that into minus, minus, then 2. Minus 1, minus 2, we have minus 3. So we cannot write minus 3 here, we're going to write bar 3. Fine. The next thing to now do is to find our final answer, which is anti logarithm. 35 under 2 different three. So we have 2, 2, 5, 1. Now there's battery here, meaning three zeros. 0, 0.00. This is three zeros, then 2, 2, 5, 1. So that is our final answer. Example 2. Evaluate these values here. So we have our number log so we have 57.9 multiplied by 0 0.0028 then multiplied by 0 0.6 here we look for the integer of this to get the integer of 57.9 you have to cover the first digit and start counting at the back of the first digit without jumping the decimal point so we have one so we have one digit, that is bar one. That is one point. Now for the second one, you want to look for the integer. And this starts with decimal points. So we count the number of zeros. One, two, three. That is three. But there's a point here, we call it bar three points. Then for this one as well, we have one zeros, bar one point. Now we check our logarithm. 57 under 9. We have 7, 6, 2, 7. Now here we check 28. There's no number here. That is 28 under 0. We have 4, 4, 7, 2. Likewise, the last one, there's no number here. And if you look at the logarithm table, it starts with 10. There is no 6. So you have to add 0 here, making 60. So you check for 60 under 0. We have 7, 7, 8, 2. So the next step, this multiplication changes to addition. So we had 7 plus 2, we have 9 plus 2, 11. That is 1 carry 1. 2 plus 7, we have 9. 9 plus 7, we have 17. Plus 1 you've carried, we have 18. 8 carry 1. 6 plus 4, that is 10. Plus 7, that is 17. Plus 1 you've carried, that is 18. 8 carry 1. 7 plus 4, that's 11. 11 plus 7, we have 18. 18 plus the 1 we've carried here, that's 19. 9 carry 1 points. Now here, we have 1. Don't forget, plus bar 3 means minus 3 in brackets. Bar 1 means minus 1. So we have 1, plus and minus, minus 3, then minus 1. 1 minus 3, we have minus 2, minus 1. Minus 2, minus 1, we have minus 3. That minus 3 stands for bar 3. Now, we check our final answer. That is 98 under 8 difference 1. We'll go and check our anti-log reading. 98 under 8 difference 1. We have 9, 7, 2, 9. Now, for this bar 3, we're going to have three zeros. 0 0.00, then 9, 7, 2, 9. Example 3. 
evaluates these values. So we have a solution number log then we can have it this way. Let me have it this way. So we have 4.762 multiplied by 0 0.007853. Now, the integer of the first one, there's no zero points there. By covering the first digits, how many digits do we have after? And we must not jump the decimal points. Since we must not jump the decimal point, there's no more digits after the first digits. So we call that one zero points. Now, how many digits do we have? There? That is the integer of this one. We have three zeros here. That th three zero, when it start with zero, that is bar. Then we have three zero, that's bar three points. Now we check our logarithm, 47 under 6 difference 2. We have 6, 7, 7, 8. Now check the logarithm of this one, 78 under 5 difference 3. We have 8, 9, 5, 1. This multiplication changes to addition. So we have 8 plus 1, we have 9. 7 plus 5, so we have 12. 2 carry 1. 7 plus 9, we have 16. Plus 1, you've carried 17. 7 carry 1. Then 6 plus 8, we have 14. Plus 1, you've carried, we have 15. 5 carry 1. Points. So here, we have 0 plus bar 3, minus 3, in bracket. Plus the 1, we've carried from here. So we have 0, plus and minus, minus 3, plus 1. 0 minus 3 is minus 3 plus 1. So minus 3 plus 1 gives us what? Minus 2. And minus 2 will be written as bar 2. Now, that's the numerator. So that is the numerator. Now, for the denominator, we have only one value here. For the denominator, we have... 0 0.0129. So, how many? What is the integer of this? It means how many zeros do we have here? We have two zeros. That's bar two points. Then you check your logarithm 12 under 9. We have 1106. Then, what is the next value? The next step is the numerator and the denominator, they are separated by this division, so you have to subtract. You subtract them. We have 9 minus 6, that is 3. 2 minus 0, 2. 7 minus 1, 6. 5 minus 1, 4 points. Now here we have minus 2, minus 2, with this sign of minus, then minus 2 again, the signs in brackets, Minus 2. Minus times minus plus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 gives us what? 0. So we have 0. So 0 0.4623. Now, to get our final answer, we are going to check our anti log reading 46 under 2 difference 3. We have 2, 8, 9, 9. Now, we want to move our points. To move our points, if you look at it, this is 0. This zero, according to what we did in our previous classes, you are going to add one to this zero. When you add one to the zero, now you need to move your points. When you add one to zero, we have zero plus one give us what? One. So you move your points once. So we have 2.899. Unlike when we solve this, this is bar three. When our answer has bar here, yeah, it's going to be 0 0.007. Maybe depend on the how many of how many bar do we have there. If it is three bar, two bars, and so on like that. But here, this is zero and not bar. To now determine your decimal point, you had one to it. One plus zero give us one. Then you move your point once. Give us 2.899. With this, we have come to the end of today's class. In our, in our subsequent class. In our subsequent class, we shall be looking at
log range of number less than one under division and roots. Just before we move away from this class, if you are a new member on this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent contents. And do not forget to watch our previous videos. Thank you.